everyone. This is the first video of the basic Edge Router X setup. So what I have, I have the Ethernet cable plugged into the ETH0 port of a brand new Edge Router X. I've done nothing else. Uh, so if I come into my network connections and if I enable that Ethernet port, um, the first thing we're going to want to do is we want to get on the same network as as the router. Um, it comes out of the box with a 192.168.1.1 address. So if I just uh, choose a 1.10, we don't need to set anything else up at the moment. And and if I go to my browser and just go to 192.168.1.1, we should uh, reach the router. Now the default password. Um, should be in your documentation, but for me, it's UBNT, UBNT. Um, and this is the initial interface. Um, it asks you whether you, you want to use the wizard initially to start. So we're just going to click no, but then we're going to go across to wizards. And we're going to go to the WAN plus 2 LAN 2 wizard um, as per the documentation in the blog post we're just going to um, set up two two lands for in our case we've chosen 4.1 and 3.1 we're just going to keep the same users just check everything else enable DHCP on both those networks enable the firewall all looks good click apply apply the changes. So it's telling you here now that basically we've changed the IP addresses of the networks that we're on. Um, and it's telling us where we're going to have to go in order to get to those networks. So if I hit the reboot button, now I'm going to go and move the cable from the ETH0 into the ETH1 port on the router itself. And if you remember from the wizard, ETH1 has DHCP running on it, and it has um, a 4.1, uh, 192.168.4.1 um, address. So if we go to uh, our command prompt, um, we can see we've still got that 192.168.1.10 address. So if we go back into into here and reset that to obtain addresses automatically. It should get an IP address. Um, we'll just keep on pressing this. The router can take a couple of minutes to start up. There we've got a 169, so it's it's not up yet. Okay, so if we come back in here and try again, there we go. We have 192.168.4.38. So if we go back to our browser and go to 192.168.4.1, we should get back to our setup. And there we go. And you can confirm what's happened here. We have um, ETH0 is our internet port. That will get an IP address from your um, fr from whatever is plugged into ETH0. So that might be your ISP. Um, ETH1 is that 4.1 address. And you'll see here that um, ETH2, ETH3, and ETH4 are all connected. Well, are all connected to this switch down here, which has a, a dot three address. In the next video, we're going to look at changing how that, sw how that switch operates.